Holy heck, it is late at night, you guys. And unfortunately, I didn't realize it was so late. Sophie and I come and put the chickens away at night. But there's been some some developments that I had to that I had to come and see. Okay, first of all, there is your treat. <laughs> Look at that little red one. Get in for the night, little chickens. Every night we lock the chickens in and we collect our eggs and we forgot today. Yeah. Okay, so now we have to go down to the barn because bad news. So I think Willow's called. Okay, so when we were down here with the horses today, Gracie was outside and Willow wasn't. I didn't even think to check on her because she's always okay. But anyway, Sam and Sophie came to do chores and she's showing signs of colicking. Did you notice or dad? Dad noticed first. Dad noticed first, and it's gotta be bad for dad to notice. He notices nothing. She ate all her grain, and she's eating her hay. Oh gosh, it is dark. It is 8.30 p.m. I was editing. What happened? She's just stretching a lot, and she is like eating really slow. She's not normally a slow eater. She eats yeah, no. In the past, Willow has had ulcers. See, she's stretching the back like a little bit more. Yeah, sometimes they do that with a founder problem too, but that wouldn't affect her eating. Oh, jeez, don't scare the heck out of me. I just want to touch your feet. I just want to touch you. She thinks you want her to Yeah, that's probably what she thinks. So... Looks like she rolled. A pony or a horse rolls, every time when they get up, they shake. And if they don't shake, it so means- So try and get her to roll? Yeah, well, I don't know where Look, just, a caterpillar fell on me and it was the white kind. <laughs> what? Now I'm gonna be itchy. It's scary. Okay. Right there, see? Step on it, it's poisonous. Okay, sorry, I don't mean to kill you, but- I might be getting a little itchy. Oh, you're fine, okay. I mean, she doesn't seem abnormal to me. She's stretching her legs out a little bit more. She's eating. She's not, if she was colicking. So is that what she was doing when you said that she was kicking her belly? She was like pawing in the air, which she never does. So. See, she's stretching out. Yeah, a little. So whatever it is, it's not really bad. So Just we can do wanna... two things. If she is, we what could we do? Check on her later and see how she does. Check on her later and see how she is. Yeah. Do I think would be the better thing? Just or we could give her some medicine because we know that she had, has had ulcers in the past. She hasn't had any problem with ulcers in forever since we started giving her a supplement, like at least a year. A year. But I mean, she doesn't even look that bad. Could have been like all thunder. She's kicking, but that's the the bugs. Take her for a run and see what happens. In the past, whenever she's had ulcers, she did not eat. But Sam said that she she ate really slow, which is not like her. It was a really hot day though. Take her for, <laughs> she's gonna run all on her own. Oh, she's not running. Put, put a halter on her and take her for a little run. Seems fine to me. What do you guys think? She didn't push Gracie away, which she would have done. Hi. Yeah. Seriously, I think she's fine. But if you guys didn't tell me what you noticed, then I'd be mad if she actually got sick, right? Mm -hmm. Come here, little mini. <laughs> Let's just check up on her. <laughs> Okay, that's the plan. We'll be down here at 10. We'll bring you guys with us. We'll be at down 10. like in a couple hours. We'll check on her again. She just ate her food really slow, which is unusual. And she, she started ate, kicking her belly. And she was stretching and she was like. So she definitely has a belly ache. Yeah, something. Now she seems fine. All right, well, we'll come back. We'll be back. The worst thing is when this thing happens at night. Like it's 8.30 at night. I have to edit and then I have to go to bed. I'm early going to bed, girl. You guys stay up till 10. Yeah, now I'm gonna have to stay up till 10. We'll come back and check on her. My heart always beats really fast though when anything like that happens because like, things can turn so bad and so fast and like you never know. And Stormy Boy's already in shelter for the night. He puts himself to bed. He's like, fine, if I'm gonna be by myself, I'm going to bed. Yeah, he's in the shelter. 
Okay, so it is dark as heck. 9.56, wow. I, what'd you step on? Um, I just finished editing. That's how long it takes to I'm edit, scared. you guys. I'm holding on to you. Hey, don't hold on to my hand with the camera because, all right. Let's do it. Hi, horses, we're here. I wonder if Storm, can you see Storm? Is he still in his, still in his shelter? He's probably lying down having a nap. So who, how many times have we actually ever been down in the barn at night? Like this summer. This summer, how many times? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> we got everybody with us. You ready to see where we can sleep? Yeah. Uh oh, we gotta turn on the lights. Where do the kittens sleep? Are they there? Uh, lights are hurting. Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> They like to be up high. Oh, there we go. Ah, look at that. No wonder they like to be up high because of you guys. Look, there's a ladder here they can climb up. I saw them playing on that little step stool Look at today. Ollie, he can barely open his <laughs> eyes. It's like it's nighttime. <laughs> they look so big in the camera, but they're like so tiny. They're best friends. Oh, look, and there's Gracie. Hey, Gracie. Let's go find the pony. Back it up. Back it up. Thank you. Oh my goodness. It is dark as heck. Uh oh. This is kind of dangerous. Oh, she's still eating. Yeah, don't turn it on. We just want to check you. Not evil. Nobody said she was evil. You said she was evil? No. She's still eating. Hmm. All right, well, if she's still eating. Anyways, I think she looks good. She's still eating. She's not standing all crazy. She's not kicking her belly. She's not rolling, but actually does look like she did roll again. Yeah. See? I mean, not like so bad or anything. She did roll. All right, well, I saw her just put some hay in her mouth. Good job, Willow. Good job, Sophie, for noticing. Good job, Sam. At least you guys told me. Because she could have been called again. How are you doing, Gracie girl? Oh, Gracie's fine. She's like, there's only a Fish little bit of hay left. She's okay. like, there's only a little bit of hay left and Willow won't share it with me. Oh. That's why you're so skinny, eh? You've got such a good shape. I wish somebody would steal half my food. Still can barely open his eyeballs. <laughs> Did you know cats are nocturnal? Uh -huh. Do you know what nocturnal means? No. It means they stay up at night. They sleep during the day and they play at night. Well, he likes the darkness. Or at least they think they are. If they're not, somebody will tell me. Somebody will correct me. All right. Let's go up. Let's go. But they play during the day. Okay, let's go. Goodbye, kitties. Goodbye. I hear all the crickets. All right. You can also hear all the crickets. All right, we'll see you guys in the morning. Talk to you. We'll see you guys in the morning. Don't break the door down. Hey, hi, Stormy boy. Bye. You do come out of your your bed. I'm gonna put it in his face. Sorry, cute boy. Good. Ow! Stepped on by Ruby. Ruby. Good morning, guys. Welcome to today's video. Today we are rushing down to the barn because we want to check on Willow. If you guys saw, you guys just saw all the clips of us checking on Willow last night because Gabby and Sophie and Sam felt like Willow was hurt. Not well, right? Yeah. And? Because you would have said that too. Yeah, I would have. You guys know. We know. Like, we know how to tell if a horse is not feeling well. Like, it, as long as you're paying attention, they tell you. Uh, oh! They tell you stuff. Arm. I looked, I just, whoa. Hi, Finn, I can see Laura you. falls on camera. Whoosh, all of a sudden, Laura's gone. <laughs> Anyways, I just looked down there and she just did this big stretch and then I'm like, of course, freaking out. But I don't know, other than the big stretch, she looks okay and she's out there. We're gonna be watching her just to make sure. You never see her do that in the morning? Sometimes? I do see her do big stretches in the morning. So, I mean, that can be normal for her too. Dormy boy has just come out of his house. <laughs> 80 degrees almost. Is that hot? Yeah, today 80, 90, 100, 100 degrees is hot. Maybe. 
close to 100. So uh, Gabby slipped over at Kaylee's last night. They, they conned me into it. Yesterday they were planning to go swimming and then it rained, it poured rain. It rained and then she messaged me and said like, we can't go swimming and we got all ready. Can I sleep over again so that we can go swimming tomorrow? And I was like, oh, okay. And then all of a sudden, five minutes later, the rain stopped and it got so sunny and hot and they went swimming anyway. So I'm like, man, oh my gosh. They stay up there all night? Yeah. Well, Ollie was climbing that thing. Ollie was climbing that thing? The kitten slept there last night, we saw. And <laughs> I guess there's not anything wrong with you today. She's demanding her breakfast. She's like, who cares about the kitty? Bring me my food. <laughs> Get those eyeballs. Look at those eyeballs. Back it up. Doesn't look like she rolled at all. Uh, you get green. There you go, little mini. Come on, Gracie girl. Come on, big girl. I just love this girl. Literally, if you have horses, you'll have kids forever. <laughs> kissy, kissy boy. <laughs> Bert Molly's like, kiss me, kiss me. Hello, pretty girl. Molly likes to catch. She doesn't think of them of killing them. Yeah. Yesterday, if you guys were watching the video with the swimming pool, then you will have seen that it's definitely storm that bites Finn, and the Finn actually does move out of the way if he absolutely has to. All right, storm. That's for you, handsome. Whoa. Come on, yours is out there. Hey. That's a boy. And Finny. <laughs> it's a race against the horse when you have to feed rear. them. He's gonna rear. Oh, he was gonna rear. Yeah. Chino gotta go out. I talked to Chino's old owner yesterday. She is away and she's gonna mail me his papers. So she said she mailed them off yesterday, but it's the first time I ever got to talk to her. She told me that Chino never did a bad thing in his whole entire life. She raised him, she, she, he, he was born on her farm. She said he never did a bad thing and that every time she'd go out to the field, he would come running and neighing to her, which he always comes to Gabby, but he never like, was that excited to see her but yeah like how hard to have to rehome your horses suddenly did she have to rehome all of them i don't know i don't i honestly don't know but she seemed really kind and really amazing and i'm so grateful to have chino and i told her that another thing i like to check with willow when she seems like she's off is how many poops are in the field and i can always tell a pony poop, a mini poop and a pony poop the difference and there are lots of pony poops out here so I'm sure she's okay. And she's pretty lively today. So my guess is she's fine. You fine, Willow? Which one of these is the real AirPods? Which one is real? They look identical, except for one is a tiny bit tall, long, bigger. Real, fake. This I'm, is more square. Are these for sure real? Heavy. Like, a couple of weeks ago, like a while ago, like maybe even a month ago, Gabby lost her AirPods again. And I told her to go find them. She couldn't find them. So today I decided to find them. I pulled, I cleaned out her bedroom yesterday. They weren't there. I cleaned out the bathroom the other day. They weren't there. I See how that's all dirty? Yeah. That's not, that's not used. This is used. <laughs> well, that's how you tell if it's dirty. And there's used. earwax in the things. And there's earwax in it. That's hers. That's yeah. gotta be hers. <laughs> Gross. Anyways, so today I pulled all the cushions off the couch and I found these ones. But last week I found these ones and another package of these and they all look so similar so hopefully hopefully these are gabby's airpods in the front come on i love company sit in the front it's just down a deserted road i am company and i'm sitting in front of dad because i trust him trust dad she doesn't trust me anyways we are headed out sophie and i gabby should be back today i don't know when why um, did she sleep over again she's not sleeping over again because we have lessons tomorrow at the crack of dawn, the lessons. Anyway, we're headed to, tell them where we're going, so. Horde Station. Yeah. So Horde Station is a sales bar, and a lot of people don't believe in it. And I understand why. It's a really stressful, it's a really stressful place for animals to be rehomed. It is one of the few that we have, we only have two in Canada, and it is a place to go and shop for animals, for pets. If there's chickens, we're gonna find a chicken that we want and buy it. Yeah, so sometimes when we go there, we find like animals that we would love to rescue, like horses. There aren't very many horses. And you guys should know there's like a secret society at, for Horde Station. Like people go there every single week and they 
call this number if there are horses there and then all this big huge group will like put together money or they will like try and rescue any horses so that they end up in a good place so we've seen horses there we've seen ponies there we're not comfortable yet we're not ready to to rescue but if there's a gypsy van full we're getting if there's a gypsy van or it's coming home with me like i'll put it in this van just joking but i'll be getting sam to come home i'll ride it home yeah right. but anyways it's been closed this entire season but we are in stage three now it's just been a couple of weeks since we've been in stage three that means that like we have the least amount of covid that we've ever seen so far this year and so we're hoping that it's open we're hoping that there are chickens and we're going to check it out we've gone so many times it's been closed we've been disappointed i checked the website it didn't say anything so we're going to check it out sophie wanted to go and she feels it in her heart that it's open. Do you feel it in your heart that it's open? Yes. All right, let's do it, you guys. Me fixing my ponytail. I feel like we're the only minivan in the parking lot, and I feel like people are gonna call uh, call us out and be like, you're not here to buy a cow, get out. But we're gonna go <laughs> see. Okay, don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious. All right, we got in. We got in, and so far we just saw some cows, really cute cows. Any horses? see a cow? Oh. <laughs> oh my goodness, let's get a pig. Yes. Let's get a pig. Yes. I don't think these are the kind of pigs we want. Imagine, they'd get free for sure. They'd be up the road in, in a minute. Uh, whoa. I, oh. Wow, he barely fits. Look how they got him in here. Well, that's sad. I like oh, this I love a cow. Mom, this one looks friendly. Oh, look at the baby. So cute. Usually, if horses are here, they're like, oh, look at her. Oh, she's got a baby too. Yeah. They don't seem that scared. More, more mamas with babies. Oh, I love him. Hello, handsome. Go to you. Is it a boy? Aww. I'll take you home in a minute. Obviously, it was a pet. You're gonna find a new farm. Are you gonna come home with us? Is it a boy? All right, Sophie and I are sold. This is, is what we want. Four oh four. Number four oh four. Look at how this is the friendliest goat we've ever seen here. You are such a cutie. This is not a baby. What do you guys think? You should bring home a goat? Look at I love goats. Like, goats Mom. are... We should bring them home. <laughs> yeah, I know. Oh my goodness. We oh, just... I, oh my goodness. We've raised some goats before. I'm sorry. We're not ready for a goat right now. I will always look at you guys. I need Sam to come and get me this goat. You would be such a good goat for our minis. Oh, he's so itchy. I don't want to leave him. Me either. Let's just chill here. Somebody must be really sad to have to rehome this goat. He probably was owned by a kid. I think it's a girl. walk away. We walked away and he wants us to come back. Sophie and I can't walk away. I'm telling you, if we were already in our, our new farm and we had a good setup, this goat would be coming home with us like in a heartbeat. Like, oh my gosh. She just wants to kiss. Sophie, you're the kissing girl. Is it a girl? I think it's a girl. How do you tell besides you see stuff down there? I think so. Think so? But it is so sweet. Our new goat. You want to be our new goat? Yeah, it's the cutest goat I've ever seen. I don't want her to uh, And some little sheep. Oh my gosh. Every time we try and walk away, we get sucked back to him. I love him. I hear kids here. I can't find my phone. I tried to phone my sister and tell her that this goat is here because she would come and get it. I know. 
Do you actually see something underneath there to make him look like a boy? There's another goat right beside him. Not as friendly as him. This guy will go to a good home, I bet you. Don't think we have enough money for you. I have enough money for him. We just don't have enough place for him. He can live in the house. I would too. I would let you live in our house. You can play with the dogs. I'm just worried about the road. I also really want a cow. And the reason I want a cow, I want to learn the relationship that you can have with the cow if they were treated differently. Like, I believe the world is changing, you guys, and the animals are going to be treated differently. But it's just a slow process. What if we get these ones? I like these ones over here. Oh yeah, this is the friendly one, right? Yeah. Like, look at that little baby. Adorable. And look at her face. She has... They all have pretty faces. She has a different marking. See? She's like, I want to come home with you. It's really sad. Like, I always feel so sad. Okay, let's go get that. Um, yeah. Get that I want that goat. Like, I'm going to find my phone and message my sister. My sister would buy that goat. Like, my sister, like, I love animals so much. I feel like God's telling me that my life is not meant for animals. Like, I'm not my sole purpose in life is not animals my sister she's an animal control officer her whole life since she's a little girl you can if you look back you can see her whole life she's been designed to save animals like that's her story in life i feel like my story in life is to save people i think people are are, are who i'm meant for that cool loved us i know that cool loved us don't you know that you're beautiful